To get started, download the Pix4D app on your mobile device. Select Grid Mission since it is the easiest to use and in my experience, produces the best results. As you can see, you can adjust all the parameters of the area that you are going to be mapping. The application will warn you if the area is too large to be floating. If you click on the battery symbol on the right hand side, a lot of vital information will be displayed. You can also adjust the altitude in meters. The higher, the less time it will take, but also the lower the resolution will be. I use 50 meters as that gives a good balance. There is also a camera mode, but I do not use it since it does not help me. Here are some settings that can be left alone. You can also reset the area to its default size. The predicted time to complete the flight is displayed in the lower left hand corner. Once familiarized with the application, connect your device to the controller and fully charge the battery. It is also recommended that you update the software on the Phantom and on the remote controller. Place the Phantom in an open area that is clear of trees and other obstacles. The application will only work when the flight mode switch is in the F position, the leftmost one. If at any point you need to regain manual control, move the switch to the A position. Once you are happy with the shape and size of the area you are mapping, press start, read the instructions and press take off. The Phantom will now automatically take off and ascend to the indicated altitude. It will then fly towards the start point. Once there, it will fly to the next waypoint, stop, take a picture and repeat the process. Of course, be ready to set the switch to the A position if a problem arises. The Phantom will stay on course even if there is relatively strong wind. Once the mission is finished, the Phantom will return to the home point. I would advise landing the Phantom manually so you can land it in the correct place. Once landed, import all the images taken and download the trial version or buy Pix4D. Open Pix4D and select new project. Name it and select where you want it to be stored. Now import your images. As you can see, the images have been geolocated correctly. On the bottom are processing options. If the second step in processing does not work, try changing the quality or the output options. Click start and the processing will begin. This process might take a very long time. It is recommended to have a powerful computer with a lot of RAM as it will dictate how many images you can process. I have 8 gigabytes and my limit is roughly 100 images. Once the processing is finished, it will look something like this. To see the final result, turn off cameras and enable the mesh option. 
It will now load the mesh. The quality of the mesh may depend on the time of day, the altitude and your quality settings. You can also see an altitude map. Thanks for watching.